y'all going too far on this show right about now. This this episode was rough. They said the last episode was 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 going to be a big. This was rough. Actually, they watch. said last episode was going to be hard to process. Well, this is a little bit hard to process too. So yeah, I had to watch most of this process through my fingers. This is what had happened was on Lovecraft Country episode five, Strange Case. Hit the music. My God. Yeah. <laughs> What's really good, guys? It's your boy, Spider Man, aka D Man. You're a man. I'm sitting here with my sister, my day one. The one who holds it down for me, my co host, Daria. Say, What's up, Daria? What's up, Daria? And welcome to our What Had Happened Was for Lovecraft Country, our little recap and review and breakdown show for the channel. We got a big one. Well, yeah, pretty decent sized little, little, little breakdown for this past episode yeah, of Lovecraft Country. This episode's gonna be a little bit harder to break down. <laughs> little, uh, maybe, 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 maybe. But before no. we get started, y'all know the drill. If you'd like to see this channel continue to grow and thrive, please make sure to subscribe to us. Hit the bell icon so you can get notifications for every video that we do, range from movies to video games to wrestling to whatever we find absolutely interesting. Also, like any of the content that you do enjoy and comment down below because we do like to hear from you, Archive Faithful. Now, let's get it going. Episode five, Strange Case. Of Lovecraft Country. Episode five. How you want to start it? So, so this episode is following what was basically the B story of last episode uh, with Ruby and William, yeah. um, where she was not able to get her job at uh, Marshall Field, and then it pushes over to the A story of this particular episode. So this yeah. is going to be following uh, much of what happened with Ruby. We're going to get some uh, brief fallout when it comes to what happened uh, with Yahima and uh, uh, the, the pages of Adam and everything. So this is this is this is gonna be this is this is this is a story that almost feels like it's not the most important one, but it's telling a very good story uh moving forward um, for Lovecraft Country. I kinda disagree. I, I think this episode was an important one. I didn't say it wasn't. No, you said not as important. No, I said it may seem like it's not as important. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. But okay. before we get into all of that, yeah. you know how we do things here. We're going to give you a brief recap of what happened with this episode. Uh, we're going to also put the little timestamp up there so you can avoid any spoilers if you haven't managed to watch it or if you plan on watching it later after this. Uh, and then right after that, I don't, I don't know why you're doing the fingers. So you could put spoilers there. I mean, but like, uh, okay. And then after that, we do our little breakdown of how we felt about the story, give a little review of what we felt was uh, is happening right now because we're only five episodes into what I think is a 10 episode season. So, uh, oh, so yeah, let's go jump right into this because the title card is coming down right about now. Now, as we said in the uh, past episode, Ruby's story was kind of the B story of her dealing with uh, losing out on a position, uh, a position at Marshall Fields and running into William. Very much a B story last episode. This story, it is a very important uh, element of this episode because we find out that what William is helping her out with is putting her in a white body. Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. He, he gives her a potion that allows her to be white and pass as white. And it's a strange situation she finds herself in because it's surprising at first, uh, where she's stumbling down the streets in the south side of Chicago with a bunch of black people. Yeah. Uh, somebody, try, a little you know, young black kid tries to help him, police pull up, damn near about to beat his head, brains in, yep. sight unseen without any thought about you know the situation whatsoever. It's just like black <laughs> kid, white woman in distress, yeah. let's save her. And that's the only thing that matters. That's basically. Even calling him an animal. You caught that. I did because I originally thought, because I liked how they put that in there it's versus like saying the N word. Yeah. And I was like, oh, they caught that. That was like a nice touch. Instead, they said animal yeah. and not the N word. Yeah. And it's like, okay, that might be pretty important to discuss. Yeah, just just kind of like, you know, yeah. drive that point home. Uh, but she gets picked up by the police, brought back to William, and we find out that it's a whole ass metamorphosis. Now, yeah. they play uh, a, a television report about Kenyan <laughs> locusts coming up from Africa to swarm uh, British colonies and basically destroy everything 
in their path and it's a, it's a nice little touch that's actually touched upon in very in uh, another part of the story later on but it's a very very physical very painful transformation for her to go from black to white and, or at Vice least person, back yeah. from white to black we actually haven't seen the transformation of her going from black to white we've never seen that we only saw no just her back. transforming back to being a black person yeah. i actually am hoping they will show that in the next episode we'll or see. in the future episodes because i would like to see how that actually works yeah when you take this potion and you become something completely different and i'm not saying something is this she's a thing yeah <laughs> they, they no. get that okay they i'm just saying that. i'm just it's saying okay. like basically it's... you're given a potion to become something else and yeah. you just don't know what it is yeah it's a complete metamorphosis we yeah. also find out the the uh the aftermath of montrose killing yahimon that who they pulled up from uh from uh titus's little study hidden yeah. in, the, in the vault and killing her yeah. and loot and getting rid of the pages altogether. Tick damn near murders him and scares the hell out of Letty. And that's yeah. that's gonna be our B story of uh, this episode right yeah. here, dealing with uh, Montrose and dealing with uh, Atticus and Letty uh, right about now. But the focus is again on Ruby. Yeah. Uh, we find out, you know, that it's the potion that William is giving her and that there is no cost to this, not really. Uh, Mm, no, I'm, I, I'm. I'm going to get to the to the devil's deal. No, I wasn't uh, even going to say that. I oh. wasn't even going to say that. Oh, go for it, it. I, I just think like right now with what's happening, it doesn't seem like it's a cost, but it's definitely a cost. Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, like in they terms did, of this episode, there's no yeah, like massive what, cost. Well, what I was just saying was you don't know what the cost is yet, and they haven't necessarily hinted. I know that's why I said in this episode. I, I know. I'm agreeing. Good God! Jesus! As we were saying, we find out that William does have a deal with her. Yes. Because he's allowing her to become this 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 white woman. Hillary Davenport is the, the facsimile that she gave to her uh, and do whatever she wants in this white body because she gets a chance to just give it a test run uh, one more time, basically with her wits about her. And she's enjoying the fact that she is, in her words, Ruby uninterrupted. Yeah. Completely uninterrupted by the bigotry and the prejudices that she usually faces as a black woman in Chicago in the 50s. And after that, he's asking her, he's like, I, I am gonna have to pull, you know, a little, little favor mm -hmm. out of this. But for right now, go as you please, do as you please, do whatever the hell it is you want. Yeah. What are you gonna do next? She just decides, hey, I'm gonna put my resume in at Marshall Fields. Yeah. Puts her resume in, same resume as she was gonna put in elsewhere. Uh, yeah, well, actually, same resume she was gonna put in last episode. Yeah. We finally get to see what she's what able her, to do. Right, what she's able to do, what she has accomplished, and how proud of that she is, which is why when last episode she went into Marshall Fields and saw the f black woman at the counter. Tamara. Tamara. We, we find out that's her yeah, name. Yeah, her name's Tamara. Yeah, when she sees Tamara at the counter, it's kind of like, okay. So originally she doesn't know Tamara's accolades. And I know yeah. we're going to get to that. Yeah, we're so. definitely going to get to that. But yeah, it, but it threw her all the way off. Threw her all the way off. But like now with the white body, she mm -hmm. is assistant manager with the same credentials. Yeah. She didn't change anything else. She, no. she did change up where she came from. She yeah, she that's about it. Yeah. But like everything else was perfectly the same. Everything else, yeah. even her backstory for why she wanted to do this was the same story that she, yeah. she would have told and we actually, if she got an interview. Yeah, sorry. And we yeah. actually got to see what type of education she had because she did put herself in school. Oh yeah, she put it in she was school. even more qualified than the guy that hired her. Yeah, it's like, like you, she you could be have running for my position, right. which is uh, hilarious enough because we see that it's 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 dealing with this hierarchy that like if she were black she'd mm -hmm. just be a counter girl, right? If she's she's a you know a white woman, right. she's an assistant manager. Right. If she was a dude, she would be above him. She would easily. She but, like would. that's the hierarchy yeah. that you're dealing with here. It's like black woman all the way at the bottom, even with the same actors. Yes, and 
you know, that's really something to talk about right there. Just because uh, they only handled it briefly. Yeah. But, so we'll do the same. But she's now the assistant manager of Marshall Field. And we find come to find out that the person that they hired in her stead, mm. Tamara, is really didn't finish high school, didn't even graduate past the seventh, seventh yeah, grade. Yeah, she only graduated, uh, which, which actually was normal at yeah, that time. It was, it was, it was actually pretty normal. normal. Uh, she did it on, she, she applied for the job on a whim. Yeah. Um, and we also learned that this whole, the only reason why she got the job is because the higher ups had an initiative to get rid of the oh, whites white, only. Right, whites uh, only hiring policy, policy. Which is how she got hired. Yes, and it's and it's a strange situation because when we find out that she is not credentialed, she is not as qualified yeah. as Ruby is because she's telling her about an accounting class at uh, uh, Frederick, uh, uh, Frederick, Frederick Douglas, Douglas uh, uh, the Frederick Douglas Center. Trading Center, yeah. yeah. Tra was it Trading Center or just Frederick Douglass Center? It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a little center. Okay. Uh, and, he, and like Tamara didn't know about it. Yeah. So like, well, she wouldn't. Yeah, she wouldn't. But like, that's that's the thing. It's like we're finding out that that Ruby is well overqualified for this position. Tamara yeah. is well underqualified. And it's a wonder if this was a first come, first serve thing where they just hiring any black person just to fill the potential quota, or if they intentionally hired somebody who was woefully unqualified so that they have a reason to go, okay, we tried it, it didn't work, yeah. let's keep the old policy. Yeah, and, and I think you see that once uh, Ruby has transformed into Hillary and then her interaction with Tamara, because yeah. I was expecting something completely different. Yes. I'm expecting Ruby, originally a black woman, transferring to a white woman, you're still Ruby. Yeah. So I'm like, you're still this black woman inside. Are you going to like? Like we got we got to stick together. Right. But Any like, wisdom? No. no. I mean, she did None. she did give a few things, but it comes from such a dis. I think I thought it came disdainful. from this. Yes. Yes. That's what I thought. I thought she had this resentment, not because she was the first black person hired. Yeah. Or even because she's unqualified. Right. It's just that's the position that, yes. that that we're in where you have to be yeah. twice as good to go half as far. And since she's not twice as good, yeah. you you're kind of creating this situation where you, the door's gonna be closed behind yes. you. And she's yeah. noticing that and she's yeah. being a little bit more resentful and, of it. And I do like the line that she said, like, you have to be better you can't than be the mediocre. white people. You can't be mediocre. You cannot be mediocre. You have to be better than the white people. You cannot. Because if you're not, you give us a bad name. And I, when I saw us, I was like, oh, shoot. Yeah, you I thought she had lowered like, her guard. Yeah, well. I was like, but we'll, we? we'll, we'll get into that <laughs> yes. part because that transition is from there. But back to the B story. Yes. We find out. So in the last episode, we learned, or at least we get a little hint. We, what I thought was just a throwaway line mm -hmm. uh, and was just Tree being an asshole, making him, making uh, Tick question his father Montrose's, um, his motivation. But we learned that, yeah, that's true. Uh, people know that Montrose is not straight. Like whether he's yeah. gay, whether he's bi, whether he's on the download, what what have you, he's not straight, and he's you know going back to Sammy's house because you know Tick beat the shit out of him. Yeah, Tick beats the shit out of him, so he goes to where he can find some comfort, find some you know closeness. Yeah, in his life, because like the first first thing that Sammy asks is like, was it the O phase of the? Yeah, I'm gonna have to bleep that. <laughs> yes, because you let that slip. I let that slip. Yes, you saw my whole expression. Yeah, I'm glad you caught let that. that. Slip. Thank you very much. But like we learned that 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 when it comes to Tree, he is telling the truth when it comes to the fact that Montrose is definitely gay, or at least yes. not straight. And that leads to a couple other things that we were going to talk about. But we're going right back to Rue because you know that's when we find out that she gets her card pulled. Yeah. William pulls her card and says, yeah. hey, I want to pull in this favor. I need you to do this thing for me. Yeah. And that thing is working at the lodge as Ruby, not as Hillary. Yeah, no, as Ruby. As Ruby and deposit this thing into the police chief's uh, office. I, was it a token or we... We I never know. know. We never know. I kind of want if any of the viewers to like comment down below. Like, like what, what was that? it that... Uh, Christina. Christina gave Ruby. Yes. What was it? Because like she had to pass it on yeah. to the police chief. And they office. didn't necessarily explain it. Yes. The only thing we know is Christina wants this in the, the chief's office. 
we also find out who's behind the door doing all that moaning. Yeah, who was we, we still don't know episode. who yeah. he is, but right. we know that he stole something or he knows where some stolen goods are. Yeah. And he's basically got his throat slit, his yeah. tongue. It's, it's gruesome. It, this episode was this gruesome. Epi- this episode was gruesome as hell. <sighs> but that's what leads yeah. us back to Ruby speaking any kind of way to Tamara. Yeah. Because she finds out, like, yo, these white folks is crazy. Yeah. These white people is crazy. You yes. can't, you can't be me. That's when she has a big blow up with Tamara. Yeah. Like, you can't be mediocre. You got to be better than yes. everybody. You got to be better because if you're not, you, you can't be a credit to your race. Yeah. Unless that's the yeah. case. Which brings you to another line that she threw at her. Like, white people want to be us. Yeah. But what was the other part? Black people want to. I can't remember that. She, I know, I know, like, because that also resonated when she was yeah. like, well, white people want to be us. Black people want to be them for being their position. Yeah. Maybe not be them as in white, but just be in their position. Be in their position. Which is which is a yeah. fun thing to be because like because Ruby didn't want to be white. She just yes. wanted to be in that position. Yeah. But the only the only way to do that yeah. is to be white. Yeah. But they go to the south side because she coaxes coaxes Tamara. Tamara to take him to the south side bar which is you yeah. know wow we got some stuff to talk there uh, oh my <laughs> god but like this is this is a full on weird ass episode but one one of the biggest twists that we learned towards the end which is why we put this in the spoiled section is that William is Christina gasp but that's at the end that's we're, at the we're, end we're, let's go to the bar the- Oh, well, there's, Chicago there's, there's bar. not much more to say about the bar that we can't yeah, say. Yeah, it kind of is. Oh, then go because ahead. Then go ahead, please. It kind of is before we get to the next segment. Go ahead, please. The segment I have to take over, apparently. But anyways, yeah. Here's what I took away from that. I thought this, this scene was very, very, very important. Okay, go for it. And, okay, so, Hillary, Ruby, takes, coaxes Tamara, as you said, to go to the south side of Chicago to With the, the bar. Yes, because... Beforehand, when they were all in the break room without Tamara, they were talking about her. Yeah. Yeah. They were talking about her, and Ruby was listening to everything that they were saying. As Hillary. Yes. Which led them to say, well, I really want to go to the south side of Chicago to one of those bars. I want to see how those people, caps, those people party. They then said it would be like a safari. Yes, they did. That also should be in caps. But they want to go to the south side of Chicago. Okay, they go. It's a total embarrassment for Tamara, and you can tell. Yeah. She has to you get some liquid courage going. You can tell, yes. Even when one of the white women get up and say, ooh, come on, Tamara, let's go do the hip-hop bomba. And you're, you're just like, what? What the hell? Yeah. What the these people are just dancing. Why Why is it hip hop? Let's do the hip hop mamba. What the hell is hip hop mamba? Just well, get the freak up and dance. Well, okay, well, um, just just on this part that they named their dances in the 50s more. I, so, I, so, I got so, that. Like, I, I got all of that. They, they pro- I know. It probably is named that. It Maybe not the hip hop mamba. But, right. But, but like, it, you know, it had a name. Yes. And she probably did say the name. Yes. But at the same time, I, I see what you mean. Yes. Like, it's very embarrassing to be put on yes. like that. Not only that, the freaking manager came with them. Oh, God. First yes. of all, dude, you have a wife and two children. Two children? What the hell oh, are you out with all these women? they called it. The yes. Lady. Yeah. Why the hell are you out with all these women? As possibly as protection. But right. As, you know, as, as Ruby is pulled as away that, from what, everybody. As, as that is what we are to believe until they are about ready to go. When he corners Tamara to try to rape her. And quote, something else that, that resonated. I heard that with you people, it smells sweet down there. Really? <laughs> you get mad at this episode. Really? You get mad at this one. Uh, help me understand. We, we all, prayfully, hopefully, wash our ass. Yes, I said that. Yes. <sighs> I mean, like, uh, I if, said, if, if, if you, if you, if you, well, fo- if, you fo- if you follow Twitter, apparently people don't wash their legs, their hands, their hair. So, you, that's a crapshoot. 
my thing is that's a crapshoot with that crap shoe. my thing is what are we saying with that are we trying to say no it, it, he's just saying because he's trying to the same way that it's like going on safari or seeing how you just wanted to see and, you just want to sleep with camera yeah but like he you know he has to have control but of course ruby sees this yes. after transforming back to ruby from to hillary ruby. again yeah. a very skeevy transformation sequence which i don't like but yeah and that's when we push over yeah. to uh finding out one that william is christina yeah. and two uh, the no, wait because then we go back to uh tank Frick. the drag scene yeah Oh, no, no, the, the drag scene's something we'll talk about in the next section. Yes, we don't yes. get to that's, William that's being Christina until the very, very end. Like, that's I'm actually, just trying to But you her. keep saying it. Wait till the end. I know through. you're excited. Jesus. All right. Go then. You said here's the drag scene? No, because we're not going to talk about that later. You talked about Tick. Finding out about uh, his, his Korean girl. Oh, knowing yes. Knowing something about yes, this, yes, which yes, is he... also at the end. Yes. That was actually the last scene. Christina, but okay. Jesus. Basically, Tick, Tick decoded and found something. Yeah, and it's caused him to call yeah. his Korean girl. Yeah. Which, again, started from the very first episode. Where yes. We're learning that she knows something, and we yeah. don't know who or even what she is, because even asked that, like, yeah. what are you? And right. she hung, hangs up on and him. And she hangs up. And then, can I talk about Christina being William Jesus Christmas? That's it. End, though. We're at the end, woman. No, you forgot the drag queen scene. We're doing that next session. Fine. Jesus Christ. I'm just saying, fine. You just, you just want to talk about your drag world. Yes. We'll get to that. Jesus. We we, we sit here freaking dancing over it. Yes, William is Christina. He used the same potion. Christina is William. Jesus Christ. Now we get to the breakdown. Drop the goddamn Tom Carter. <laughs> Frick. So the big thing for this, it feels to me, in my opinion, if I can go off on a tangent real quick, um, the big thing for this is passing. <laughs> like they're, they're, that's what we're focusing on. Uh, the, the big story, the A story is Ruby uh, and William and her potion, which turns her into Hillary Davenport and allows her to see the world passing as a white woman. And she's still Ruby on the inside. You were absolutely yes. right when you were talking about uh, talking about it in the breakdown. Is yeah, she's still Ruby on the inside, but she's able to pass as white and get all the benefits of that whiteness um, throughout all of this. Like for instance, as I said, getting a better job despite having the same credentials as Ruby. She's still Ruby, but as Hillary Davenport with the white skin, she's able to get a better job, and she's able to get an access to. Uh, the women's locker room, mm -hmm. which gives access to how they speak about people like Ruby, yeah. black women like Ruby, yes. which is a, hor a horrendous way to see it. Also, you know, hearing the bubbly white version of Tutti Frutti, which is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> hearing hearing yeah. that version of Tutti yeah. Frutti, I I'll absolutely love it. Yeah, I, I was like, they it. actually went there. They actually went there. But like, that's, that's the whole purpose of this right here. We're seeing Ruby pass as white throughout all this. And and on a smaller side of things, you see Montrose passing as straight yeah. throughout most of this. Because Montrose, nobody's going to sit down and say Montrose is not the quintessential, um, maybe even alpha male, heteronormative male uh, in Southside Chicago, aside from Tree, who probably managed to see him and Sammy get it on some, somewhere down the yeah. line. Or just the fact that he hangs around Sammy a so lot much. more than other people, yeah. you know, normally would. Yeah. But Montrose in this episode, um, after Tick beats him up, goes to Sammy and basically goes there for, for the comfort. Yeah. But he stays there. And when he does stay there, we start to see that Sammy is not just gay. He's a part of the drag scene. Yes. And as being a part of the drag scene, we get to see, you know, various other characters brought in. But the big thing that I wanted to talk about before I kick it over to you mm -hmm. is as he's there, he's basically living his best life. Yes. In a way that we never see in the previous four episodes. Right. Like Montrose is actually free, uninhibited, almost like Ruby, uninterrupted. Yeah. Completely uninterrupted. Now, yeah. Ruby's uninterrupted uh, 
journey sees her see the complete dark side of everything and she wants that blackness back yes. and she regains her power at the very end of the episode and she does so with her blackness yeah in intact yeah montrose on the other hand he's shedding all of that macho toxic uh, you know, masculinity, for lack of yeah. a better term. Yes, he's kind of freeing himself from all this that. secret. Although we do know back in the 50s, yes. that was completely not a thing. It was completely illegal. Yeah. It, it's, it's so it's all underground. Yeah. But the, 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 the thing is, though, Ruby's uninterrupted, uninhibitedness is something that she ends up rejecting and wants to go back to being Ruby. Yeah. Montrose accepts it and is finally able to be the person he wants to be because he's no longer acting like somebody he's not. But now I will kick it back to you about that whole drag scene. Yeah. So like you said, with the underground, you know, drag scene, because, hey, yay, Shangela and Monday Exchanger in here. I'm so excited. I'm so stoked. She sits here and makes me watch all of it. Even the Canadian one. Yeah. Oh, and UK. They have Holland now. But that, that, that's, that's a, we're getting off topic. We're, that's off topic. So anyways, yes, I loved seeing this. I was so excited when I saw this. I was so excited when I saw this. And it brought to light that this has been going on for years. Yep. And they, and I, I loved how Lovecraft Country just so easily put this in there. Made it and feel they, normal. Yes, and, and they did like it so, yeah. yes. They didn't, they just, they did it tastefully. They didn't do it to humiliate or be like, yo, so you got men just no, no, no Tyler Perry's Right, <laughs> no, it's not a Tyler Perry thing. This is, you know, this is an art. This is what they do to express their art. Everybody does art in a different way. And I love how, they just transitioned into this so freely, so easy, just open up the conversation. Like, Jesus Christ, we're moving on. Get the frick over it. Yeah, the way, the way that they handle Montrose with this. Is, yes. Because, so, as he's in Sammy's, he's silent, he's stoic. Yes. He's still got a big old black eye from what Tick did From what him. Tick did him, and he's yes. he's just sitting there chilling the whole time. Whenever he had scenes with Sammy, that's what it was. But yes. the very second that the dancing and the, and the music playing and everything like that that's was, was hitting. That's another thing um, with that scene because uh, Mont was Montrose? Montrose. Montrose, it, I don't know if you noticed, said not one word. Not Only one thing word. he did was stay back and observe. Yo, he didn't even say a word when he got his ass No, back. he didn't. He didn't say one single he word this whole episode. did not. Not one word. Not one word. I didn't realize that. No. Oh, oh, man, I forgot the name of the uh, the, the playwright, but that, uh, that, that, that poem while, yeah. while Ruby was uh, walking around in when that she white was skin, when she was, yes, when she when she was she actually first, there to do it yes. of her own volition, of her yes. own will. Uh, snap, what was the name of that, that, that poem? What was it, Ezekiel, I think? Or? No, it's not Ezekiel. It was, um, I can't remember her name. Because and it I, sounded I feel, like Jill feel, Scott was hold, reciting Hold on one it. second. I'm going I'm to I'm do a real quick bleep thing real quick. So hold okay. on one second, please. In Tozaki Shanji, I had to, I had to double, triple, quadruple check because I, I yes. looked it up when it was coming. I was like, yo, this is a piece right here. Yeah, because what was, what's the name of the piece? It for was Color uh, Girls for Gullah Girls Who Consider Suicide When the Rainbow Was Enough. Yes. And they were playing that whole thing, that they were reciting yes. that whole spoken and, word yes. as she's being completely free and uninterrupted as a white woman. Yeah. And I caught that. I, I had to double check and remember how to pronounce the name because I didn't want to butcher yeah. it. But yeah. That, that that part right there was also a nice little, nice yeah. little, mm, nice little touch. It was. Opinion. I even like how they pointed out that William had left her a wad stack of money. Oh, yeah. Along with the potion. And she didn't even touch that money. Because she said that the, the white is a currency yeah. I need. That's she, was all like, the currency I, I need. she was like, because I already had my currency. And that was being white. But before, so so yes. we don't, so we don't, because this is this is our breakdown. I don't want to yes. end up accidentally spoiling anymore. Yes. If we do, sorry, sorry. No, it's it's our because I'm I'm doing it too. Yes. Uh, so let us know what you thought about Lovecraft Country episode five. Yes. Uh, Strange case. Uh, let us know if we missed 
any particular parts or any themes or anything like that because we do want to hear from your kaiju faithful so comment down below also head on over to patreon.com slash heal kaiju we got some new shows upcoming within the next month and it's also going to be halloween time so we're going to get some stuff ready for Ooh, that coming up soon even though we're doing all the spooky games. stuff here on this lovecraft country stuff but yeah head on over to uh, patreon.com slash heal kaiju uh so you can get some updates on the site, the store, and the channel. We want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being a part of us, for joining us, our little kaiju crew. And we hope to catch y'all next time. Deuces. Bye.